Well, welcome back guys to a brand new video and today I have got so much to show you for Genesis Part 2. Wildcard did the Twitch Gaming Weekly Show, which was like a live stream of all stuff Genesis Part 2 yesterday and it has got me so even more excited for June the 2nd. I can't wait to do my own stream as well when Genesis does get released and start the series. So if you guys are hyped for today's video to see all of the new reveals, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here as we're so close to 195,000 subscribers and I'd love to hit that before the release of Genesis Part 2. We're also going to be going for a new edition that Wildcard released of the game, looks, which looks like pretty cool. Um, so let's just get in with it. It's, the, it's not a community crunch. I thought sometimes on a Friday um, they release it, so we might get another one. I'm not quite sure what they're going to put together today. But as you can see, a recap on the Twitch Gaming Weekly Show. So today we stopped by the Weekly Gaming Show and we talked about Ark and Genesis 2 development. We didn't want you to miss out on all the action, so here's everything you may have missed. Biome variants. Now, is this just me, or is that a Brachiosaurus? Now, what I think it could be is the skin that was in the, I think it was the archaeology event that they did like a few years ago. I could be wrong, but I swear, it, you guys will have to let me know in the comment section. But Wildcard put some old friends will be making a reappearance in Genesis Part 2. Here's an early look at our Gen R variants, which include some new versions of many previous expansion creatures. So... Obviously, we've got like loads of different creatures from different DLCs and all these different variants of Gigas, um, you know, Reapers, Allos, Carnos in the background. But it's, it's got to be a, that's a Brachiosaurus, isn't it? So it might be the returning skin that you can put on your Bronto, if I'm correct. We also have the reveal of the net projectile. When a normal bowler isn't doing the job, in comes the net projectile. Using this with a harpoon, you'll be able to net larger creatures. He's, they've literally got... A, a trike in a whole net. So I wonder what, how many of these like trikes you're going to be, or what, like how big, what's the biggest creature you'll be able to use the net projectile with. This looks like it's going to be so fun. And I think the other thing that's going to be interesting is whether you're going to be able to fire these at survivors and capture survivors as well. That is going to be so strange. But yeah, I am actually quite looking forward to that. I had no idea that was coming to Genesis Part 2. The big one that we finally got a reveal of, which I think this is going to be fantastic for the game, is the tech surveillance console. This is the security uh, security system. At that point, they didn't have an official name for it, but it's now been named the tech surveillance console. Secure your base in Genesis Part 2 with the remote camera security system. Issue commands, view and communi communicate all from a remote location. You can even go to use them to spy on and communicate with your enemies. That is going to be so cool. We can see a shadow main in the background there as well which is fantastic but this is gonna be so useful like imagine like just you like you're just gonna hear out of nowhere someone communicating with you from their like tech security console from like a security camera like it, this is gonna be one of my favorite things and I cannot wait to start my series and uh, it's just gonna be so so much fun Anyway, moving on, we've got another reveal of the Void Worm, or Void Wyvern, or whatever people want to call it. I know there's loads of people calling it different names. I've sort of been calling it Void Worm at the moment. Um, but as you can see, this the silhouette might read as a Wyvern, but these mechanical sentries are nothing of the sort. Be careful when you're out exploring. It does not take well to basically new survivors that are going to try and get into its domain. So... A lot of people have been, and I have thought it was a Wyvern for a while, just a tech version, but apparently these are nothing like the Wyvern. They may look a bit like them, but they're going to have all different types of abilities, apparently, and this electrical sort of fire looks crazy. Like I just, I, it's, I'm so excited to tame one of these as well, um, so I wonder how you're going to end up taming them in the DLC. Now, this is a very, very cool one. Jar of Pitch. If you're going on a siege, you'll definitely want something that can leave an impact. The Jar of Pitch allows you to do that, um, just allow you to just do that by leaving an area impacted covered in flames. So, by the looks of things, we've got a cannon that you can fire like 
a jar of, basically like a Molotov, a giant jar of fire, and it'll explode and uh, cover and like obviously keep loads of fire everywhere. This is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to, to, to try this out. Obviously, for as normal, I'll do like my how to spawn in some of the creatures and how to spawn in all the items so you guys have that for the new DLC because it's always nice, obviously, to do it legitly, but I like when a DLC comes out to try a lot of the stuff out that I haven't, um, which you can do straight away, which should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Jar of Pitch. Now, the final few things we've got here is the Tech Exo Armor. This is obviously a closer um, close up to the two different versions that you can get. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the new armor that apparently we will be starting with on the DLC. I could be wrong, but I heard that you're actually going to spawn into the Genesis ship with the Tech Exo Armor on. And I don't know what the difference is going to be with how powerful it is. I don't know if, obviously, that you know, you can get different, like, Ascendant and stuff. So I don't know whether, like, that the Exo Armor is going to be weaker for a certain reason when you first spawn in. You can build it stronger as you get more powerful. I don't really know, but I am so excited for this DLC, guys. Like, for some reason, this has got me more excited than any other DLC. Not because this is the last one, but, like, they're really obviously hyping it up. And we also know that when we complete this DLC, we're going to find out what is going on with the, like some sort of arc 2 beginning as well what if there's a chance that we might even see Vin Diesel again at the end of the when, when you uh, do the like obviously ending against Rockwell um, and obviously just hearing David Tennant like speak to us as well through being Rockwell is just fantastic especially if you're a big fan like I was of Doctor Who when I was a lot younger so we also have the Ark Ultimate Survivor Edition. This is now available and there is up to, uh, on all platforms, they're running discounts up to 80% off. Start your quest for survival and experience everything the Ark franchise has to offer in the, de uh, in the Ultimate Survivor Edition. The full soundtrack is also available for Steam users. Get Ark for up to 80% off. We're excited to get Genesis Part 2 in your hands on June 2nd. See you then, Studio Wildcard. So, on Wednesday, June 2nd, we will finally be playing the DLC. Hopefully, no delays. Uh, I'm sure they are, That you know, they've already delayed it like a bunch of times. So I, I doubt they're going to be delaying it again. But this is going to be one fun day. And I am going to be streaming for hours when this DLC goes live. And uh, it's all going to be on my series, learning some of the new stuff. And it's just going to be such an exciting day for Genesis Part 2. I just can't wait to bring out so much new content to you guys. Over the last month, it's been really fun, obviously, uh, you know, showing you guys all these new reveals. But it kind of gets to that point where you're like, well, I'm enjoying seeing new stuff, but I want to play the DLC now. So that's what I'm excited to do. You guys always go on about how you want to see more gameplay on the channel. And I'll be doing exactly that for you guys as the channel does progress into Genesis Part 2. But I'm really looking forward to this. This is all of the new reveals, as you can see. Biom Variants, Net Projectile. Tech Surveillance Console, Void Worm, uh, Jar of Pitch, Tech Exo Armor, and then the announcement of the Ark Survivor Edition. As I said to you guys earlier, they usually do a community crunch on a Friday, so I reckon today we might get some form of like, you know, like, because this has kind of recapped everything that would have been in the crunch anyway, um, they'll probably just give us some sort of like, I don't know, I don't know if there'll be any separate reveals, because there might not be any more reveals now, so, uh, and I've just seen, there's Shadow Main, they've actually put in the Ark Ultimate Survivor Edition as well there, which is very nice, and we haven't even seen it yet. But if you guys did enjoy today's video and you are really hyped for Gen 2 like me, let's see if we can get over 1,000 likes on today's video. Subscribe if you are new around here so you do not miss out on all of the art content coming your way. Thank you so much for supporting recently and I'll catch you guys in my next video, which the next few videos over the next few days, so obviously um, it comes out on Wednesday, so the next few days you'll just sort of see like, you know, more reveals that Wildcard give us, whatever's in the community crunch, and then obviously I'll be just doing like a, you know, sort of, sort of videos to get you so, yourself prepared and everything you need to know for the release on Wednesday. See you guys later, and I hope you did enjoy. Welcome, Survivor. Enjoy the view. You see before you the pinnacle of mankind's ingenuity. 
all of humanity's hopes and dreams carefully nestled within this lifeboat. Each of its shining rings are laden with miracles of science and nature. A paradise where the boundary between the biological and technological has been all but erased. And now all of it is mine. I control this vessel now. I command its evolution. And very soon, its destination. From there, my will shall spread across the cosmos forever. Infinite and undying. And there's nothing you or that witless puppet, that shadow of her, can do to stop me. I have already set my designs in motion. Our future awaits survivor.